It's good to have Grange Hill back. Imelda. Oh, oh, Imelda. Right, now I know that uh, you may be starting school tomorrow, and you may be starting for the first time. I hope you have a good day, and I do hope you're back for 3.40. That's when we're on tomorrow. Grab your Radio Times, because we've got three new series tomorrow. I'll tell you what there is. We've got at uh, 3.40, there's the Just So Stories, and at 3.55, there's Henry's Cat, which is followed at 10 past four by The Hunter, and then... <laughs> New series number one, 4.15. It's Jack and Nori, they're back, and it's Tom Sausage Lion tomorrow. <laughs> and then at 4.25, there's Banana Man, and at 4.30... <laughs> new series number two, You Should Be So Lucky. Then after that, at 4.55, there's News Round, and at 5 past 5... <laughs> number three, Treasure Houses. Don't be late. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Starting tomorrow, a new series of BBC One's video quiz, First Class. In the next few weeks, school teams from all over Britain are going to show off their skill on some very tricky video arcade games and demonstrate their knowledge of pop, news and sport. At the very end of the series, our winning team will become our First Class and take back to their school a BBC Master Compact with disc drive and monitor. Debbie Greenwood chairs a new series of First Class starting tomorrow at 5.35. Now on BBC One, Bill Oddy and the team are back with some more facts. Show, can we control our height? Can Celt be spelt with a K? Who baths most in Britain? With Bill Oddie, Debbie Ricks, and Mr. Trivia, Billy Butler. I've got out already. Uh, hello. It's the 6th of January and the start of a brand new series of facts. Once again, we're here Tuesdays and Fridays to answer all your questions. Billy will have his usual tidbits of trivia and we bid a very warm welcome to Debbie Ricks. Thank you very much, Bill, and I must say it's very nice to be here. You're very welcome. Uh, <laughs> but there was no warm welcome on this day in 1942 because it was the start of the longest cold spell this century. It lasted for 47 days, and temperatures dropped as low as 22 degrees below freezing. Sorry about that. May I be the first to wish you all a very Merry Christmas for 1987? Now, that's not quite as silly as it sounds, because until 440 AD, today, January the 6th, was regarded as Christmas Day. Nowadays, of course, it's the final day of Christmas and the night to get your Christmas trees down. And Twelfth Night in 1918 was for co-pilot Captain J. Headley very nearly his last. His plane was making a near vertical dive from 1,500 feet to escape German fighters when he fell out. But Hedda's time wasn't up. He landed unhurt on the tail of his own plane, much to the pilot's surprise. And the only thing dented was his faith in modern technology. Mind you, next time out, he took no chances.